How is the diagnosis made? It's actually very easy uh, to recognize this disease. The, uh, you know, it's pretty typical to see the nodules in the hand and the retraction. Like I said before, the most affected finger is the, is the ring finger and followed by the small finger. Uh, there usually is a family history, commonly, and most of the times uh, both hands are affected, but not necessarily at the same time or not at the same level. But a hand surgeon will be, uh, will be you know, uh, very comfortable diagnosing that. And again, if, if, if you remember that it is not normal to have those thickenings, um, nodes and cords in the hand, and you see those fingers going back in, in, in retraction, and you're unable to open the hand, and this is a progressive disease. It's not stable. It's something that progresses. It's very, um, most likely it is due paternus contracture. What is the recommended first-line treatment? Well, there's nothing you can do to prevent it. So I, I guess the first thing you can do is recognize it. And when you do, then you seek medical attention and you go see a hand surgeon. And then he will tell you, he or she will tell you what needs to be done. Uh, treatment aims at restoring function of the hand. As we said before, this is a, a, a genetic disease and you cannot cure it at this time. So surgery is not a cure. It just restores function. So with this in mind, you want to choose a less invasive approach because you will not prevent recurrences that you know, are going to happen. Basically, there are two ways to treat this surgically. One's it, one, one of them is to remove the, the, no, the, the cords that are causing the loss of motion. That uh, requires an incision in the palm and you know, uh, sutures and quite a long recovery. And another way to do this is to say, well, since I cannot cure the disease, what I want to do is treat the symptoms and restore function with the minimal downtime possible, with minimal discomfort, minimal pain, and, and almost no incisions at all, actually. And that's where you can use uh, a percutaneous needle epidotomy to, to do this. Uh, again, two principles. One, you, re you try to remove the disease, but you know that you cannot remove the whole thing. Or you treat uh, the problem, which is loss of function. And with a needle epidotomy, you can do that and restore hand function very quickly with minimal downtime and minimal pain. <laughs>